my lords and my ladies. I welcome you to Dirt Night Ride Time. This is that time, my lords and ladies, where I regale you with my stories of conquest, victory, and adventure as I roam the kingdom in defense of my honor, nay, our honor, in the defense of our very kingdom. Today, my lords and ladies, if it please this court, I shall again regale you with another story of adventure and victory. For today, I rode into battle against our arch nemesis, the Cobra, for we shall not say his name, saying his name would bring plague upon this kingdom, dishonor. No, nay, no, nay, no, shall we say his name. He is the Cobra. That's all he shall be in this kingdom. My lords and ladies, as I was previously saying, which we don't really say in Shakespeare time, but that's what I'm saying. Nay, that's what I said. Today I will tell you this story. I'm warning the ladies among us that it will be shocking. But I escaped victorious, and I still have all my, di all my digits. The story begins eve of last i was sitting in my kingdom in my castle in a far far away part of the kingdom as i sat there i received a communique from the cobra for we shall not say his name in this communique he spoke words of dishonor contempt for this court and for myself nay for the kingdom I immediately dispatched a communique of my own. In it, I was very brief, but I was concise. Dear Cobra, for we shall not say his name. I will deal with this decisively in the morning. I was proud of my response, as I knew you would be, my lords and ladies. I tossed and turned through the night, planning my strategy, my technique. What shall I use? How shall I handle this? There's a great responsibility on my shoulders, but yet I was up to the challenge. Nay, I was born for the challenge against the Cobra. Who shall not say his name? It was nearly a sleepless night when I awoke. I'd formulated a plan. Yes, a plan for victory. I woke before the dawn. Nay, it was dark. I awoke. I mounted my ride and I rode off into the darkness, into battle. All the way to the battlefront, I was considering this option and that option. Which weapon shall I use? This was not going to be an easy challenge. It was going to be challenging though. And so I rode and I smoked cigarettes as I rode and I continued to ride until I was done riding and I arrived at the battleground. I immediately got into my position and waited for the Cobra, for we shall not say his name. I began with a softening opening. I wanted to test his defenses. I wanted to hide from him my secret weapons. I have weapons that are secret. Nay, they are secret. And as I slowly jousted and prodded, eventually I saw him caving in. Eventually I saw him falling by the might of my sword and javelin, and lance, and slingshot, even a BB gun. It hasn't been invented yet, but I used it. Nay, I invented it. Now my Shakespeare voice is turning into that old man I do sometimes. Nay, it is my old man sometimes. But yet I digress. Shall us move it forward, my lords and my ladies. 
I must admit that there was the moment where he had me pinned. I was my back against the wall, and the sharp darts were approaching when I suddenly deflected to one side and watched him smash into the wall. For we shall not say his name. And come the end of this battle, not only was I victorious with my exchange, the Cobra, who shall not say his name, the Cobra, conceded the battle and gave me great praise and honor, my lords and ladies, which reflects on this court, this very kingdom, and on our Lord God. When I left the battlefield, behind me was the carcass of a cobra, for we shall not say his name. And I emerged victorious as your humble servant. And again, I am riding through the countryside to return to my castle, my lords and my ladies. It is with great pleasure, no pleasure, that I offer this story to you in defense of your story. And after my next adventure, I shall again present myself to you humbly as your servant. Hopefully that will be tomorrow. Until then, may our Lord God bless you and keep you. Amen. <laughs>